Hey, welcome to the video today. Uh, five one. Objective here is that we simplify monomials using a rules using the rules of exponents. So uh, why don't you take a second here and write down these uh, a couple of vocabulary that you need to become familiar with. Monomial is a number of variable or product of a number and one more variables. We've got a coefficient and a power. So if we look at a monomial, this is what a monomial is going to look like here. All right, where we have the number in front is called the coefficient. Then uh, the term, the term, this is only one term. That's why it's called a monomial. A uh, monomial is a polynomial. See poly. Poly, poly on a cracker. Poly is uh, many, right? This means many. And mono means one, right? That's one. So it's a one-term meal. Uh, well, that's something you eat, but um, in this case, uh, you can think of it as terms. So a one-term polynomial is called a monomial, and it's right here. So uh, this is one term. If we wanted more terms, more terms we would add or subtract you know, something else, and we'd have something that has more terms. This one has two terms. So a two-term polynomial is called a binomial. All right, so let's, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just take monomials, and we're going to simplify monomials depending on whether or not we have a bunch of powers in them. Well, in order to do that, we're going to need some power rules or some rules um, dealing with powers and uh, dealing with, uh, I've got the power, dealing with the uh, <laughs> their exponents. So um, in order to simplify these things, we're going to need uh, these three rules. In fact, we're going to need one more rule, but I'll go over that in the next video. So we've got a negative exponent rule. It just means that if we've got a negative exponent, that negative exponent makes it a, it puts it in the denominator, or basically flips it over. So if we have a negative exponent in the denominator, it comes to the top. A negative exponent does not change whether or not this whole thing is negative or positive. All it does is put it in a fraction. Product of powers is when we have two bases the same, and we have two things multiplied together. We're gonna add the powers, fellas, add the powers, ladies add the powers. If I have a power to power, then I'm going to multiply the powers, okay? So power raised to a power is multiplication. All right, so uh, well, let's use these and do some simplifying problems. So let's go to our first example. Uh, oops, I forgot. There's one more. Um, the zero exponent rule. Sounds all uh, official, right? The zero exponent rule. Basically means if I have x, anything to the zero power is one anything to the zero power is one why is that true well it has to do with our next video and when we divide when we divide powers what are we going to do when we divide powers so when i get to that i'll show you why x to the zero is one it's important to know why things happen right uh, we just want to know that they do we don't want to know why so let's take a look at our first example here we're multiplying negative 2x to the negative 13th y z to the 8 times 5x to the 5th y to the 4th and z to the negative 8. Okay, watch this, guy. watch this, people. All right, all we're going to do is anything that's a number, okay, we're going to multiply those guys together. Okay, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Oh, that's pretty easy. Okay, now these are all multiplications, so uh, let's go back real quick. When we're multiplying two things, have this different base, or same base, different powers. We're going to add the powers. All right, so that's all we're going to do. We're going to look x, and we're going to go to the x. This is not adding like terms, ladies and gentlemen. This is multiplying. So we're going to take our x's, and we're going to add the powers. Add 5 and 13, negative 13. Okay, 5 plus negative 13 is negative 8. That's right, negative 8. Now let's look at the y. Now this y doesn't have a power. Well, yeah, it does. The power is hidden. It's going, I'm not there yet. I'm not there. Yes, it is. I'm there. Yes, it is. It's 1. Okay? So uh, it, it's implied that this is a 1. 4 plus 1. Oh, these are hard, right? 5. It's a hard question. What's 4 plus 1? Um, z, negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Okay? Z to the 0 z to the zero makes sense zero starts with z okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this one more time one more time because the x to the negative eight remember that goes this negative makes it put in the denominator so we're going to put that guy in the denominator okay so let's put him in the denominator x to the eight in the denominator because of the negative 
The y to the fifth, that stays up here. And z to the zero, well, z to the zero is one. Z to the zero is one, right? It's one. So we just multiply it by one, but we really don't have to multiply it by one because if we multiply anything by one, it's just whatever, right? So it's just the same thing. We don't need to multiply by one. This is our answer, all right? So that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna run through some more examples here, uh, but all we're doing is adding exponents, guys, okay? And multiplying other things together. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go through um, these pretty quickly here to make sure we have time. Okay, for any of these two, I, I suggest that you, uh, you practice them, right? Okay, so now we have it raised to a power. A power raised to a power, we multiply. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this three and we're gonna apply it to each of these powers, okay? And this, remember, is a one, okay? So uh, it's like the distributive property, but it's not. Don't think it's the distributive property. Distributive property has to do with pluses and minuses and things like that, so that's not, it's not the distributive property. We're just, we're multiplying the three times all of these. And this is five to the one, right? All right, so I'm gonna have negative five to the third power. X, negative four times three is negative 12. Two times three is six. One times three is three. And uh, negative five to the third. Hurry, quick, what is that? Right, it's negative 125. Okay, x to the negative 12, y to the 6, z to the 3, y to the 6, I don't know, because it is. Okay, so we're going to take, and remember that we got to move whatever is a negative power to the denominator. Okay, and that's our answer, okay, because this was a negative power, so it comes down in the denominator. Next up. This one. All right, so now these are the same rules, guys, just more work. Okay, let's go through this. We have 4x squared, y to the negative 8, z. Okay, I'm going to apply this 4. Boom, 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 boom. Apply it to each of these powers. So I'm going to have negative 2 to the 4th, x to the 4th, y, right, because this is a 1, so 1 times 4 is 4, y to the 12th, z to the negative 8. All right, man. 4x to the squared, y, x to the squared, what kind of language is that? That's why I teach math, right? For, negative 2 to the 4th is going to be um, 16. x to the 4th, y to the 12th, z to the negative 8. Okay, now I'm here I'm going to add, I'm going to multiply these together. 16 times 4 is 40, 50, 64. x, 4 plus 2, right? 4 plus 2 is 6. I'm going to add the exponents now. 12 and negative 8 is 4. And this is 1 plus negative 8 is negative 7. Last step is to put that z in the denominator because it is a negative. Oops, 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 oops. Oops, oops, that's a z. Z doesn't want to be x. It wants to be z. Okay, there we go. That's it. All right, let's take a look some more. Uh, why don't you practice this one and come back and see uh, if you can get it. Okay, here's the solution now. Negative 15. Remember, we add the exponents, so that's negative 8. Add the exponents, that's 3. Add the exponents, that's 6. Remember, this is a 1. All right, so now, last thing, finish it up. Negative 15, y cubed, z to the 6. The negative goes to the denominator. Ah, ah, don't do that. Come on. It's just a regular eight. Right, so we got we want to switch it. Once we put it in the denominator, it becomes positive. That's your answer. All right. All right let's see how many I got time here for. Okay. Okay. Let's do this one. Go and practice it, and then uh, come back and see what you get. Okay. So we got negative three squared, x to the eighth, y to the negative six, z to the squared, to the square. I tell you, one of these days I'll learn how to speak. To that was a joke, guys. Um, okay, 9x to the 8th, y to the negative 6, z squared. 2xy to the 4th, z to the negative 2. Uh, multiply 9 and 2, we get 18. x to the 8th, x to the 1 is x to the 9th, y to the negative squared. Uh, I did it again, negative y to the negative 2, and z to the 0. So that gives us 18x to the ninth 
over y squared. Okay, because z is 0 is 1. All right, let's go on. Okay, 2 to the negative third, x to the positive 12th, right? Because the negative times a negative is a positive. y to the negative 9, z to the positive 6. All right, so 2 to the negative third, we're, gonna, we're just going to go ahead and put these negatives down here. So x to the 12th, z to the 6th, 2 to the negative third, uh, 2 to the positive third now since it's down on the bottom here, and y to the 9th, and 2 to the third is 8. So we get x to the 12th, z to the 6th, 2, my yes, 8, y to the 9th. All right, and that's our answer. All right, let's try this one here. Uh, 4 to the negative 2, x to the negative 4, y to the 14, z to the negative 2. All right, bring everything that's negative down. So I got y to the 14 over 16, because remember this is 4 squared, and it's down in the bottom here. x to the 4th, z squared, bada bing, bada boom, complete. Okay, oh my goodness. What are you talking about, my SS? Okay, we're just going to we're going to do the same thing. Multiply, multiply, multiply. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6, negative six times 4 is positive 24. X, we've got a 1. 1 plus negative 7 plus 1 is negative 5. Y, 5, 1, negative 6 is going to give me 5, 6 is going to give me 0. Negative 3, negative 2 plus 1 is going to give me negative 4. Okay, so now I'm going to have 24. Why did the 0 is just 1? And i got to bring these negative guys down here. Negative guys bring me down. <laughs> Get it? They bring me down because I'm negative. Positive bring me up. All right, practice this one here. 5, negative 2, 3 is negative 30. x to the negative 2 plus 9 plus 1. Is going to give me 8. Y, negative 1, negative 9, and 6 is negative 4. And Z is going to give me 8 plus 10 minus 15 is positive 3. Okay, so my answer here is going to be negative 30 X to the 8th Z cubed over Y to the 4th. Bam! Done! That's what I'm talking about. All right. Woo! See you later, guys. That was it.